Right, ladies and gentlemen, we move back to amateur MMA over three three-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing Combat Sports Academy, Luca Trimacci. And would you welcome his opponent into the red corner, representing Trivium, John Warpole. Your referee, Sam Amidi. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, can we have everyone sat down, please? Ladies and gentlemen, can we have everybody sat down, cage side, please, so we can continue? Please sit down, cage side. So, Rob, the atmosphere has gone through the roof here. Luca Tremarchi, Combat Sports Academy in the blue. John Walpole, Trivium in the red. And he's brought a huge fan club right behind our commentary position. Yeah, he's a bit of an LFC regular. And he does have a huge fan following as this one gets underway. Both are on their feet. Luca in the sky blue or black for John? Slight height advantage for John and tidy boxing for both. Luca went for that single leg. Now John has got the single. Yeah, well, he may look to as he changes tact, releases it. Quite happy to stay upright. Wrestling for position. Well, well they go to the ground. It's more of a scramble than anything, Rob. Who can make the best of it, though? Yeah, Walpole had the clinch around the body clinch. Looks to try to step over. Got the back now. Luca giving up his back. He'll try to look to turn in, but huge power from John Walpole there. Luca turns, does a great job, tries to scramble back to his feet. Walpole's trying what a to good get job, that single Rob, leg. From Luca there. Fantastic work as he looks to take the guillotine. They scramble. The arm's still underneath. Seatbelt position for Luca as he tries to sit back into that guillotine. Yes, it was a calm head for Luca there under pressure. Yeah, Walpole trying to keep hold of that leg. Trying to drive forward to create the space to stop that. Becoming a danger as Luca takes the back beautifully transition nicely there Rob he's got Getting the arm times. trapped he's got the arm trapped as well Mike Malk as you can see as I said it Walpole just able to get it free Luca trying to trap that arm again sitting on the back beautiful work from Luca as he fires away looking to the side of the head there from this controlling position here very dominant very much in control as the arm goes underneath. Walpole fighting the rear naked choke. This is this is close though, Robbie's getting ever closer here, Luca. Track, he ties up the arm to stop Walpole do, being able to defend on that side, but Walpole doing a good job. Just kind of turning, not giving Luca the angle he needs. John Fights Walpole under pressure though, Robin, from 
a lot of this round now. Huge pressure. Luca very dominant on that back, riding it comfortably, riding the wave. Flattens his opponent out, square. This is where he wants Walpole square, and Walpole knows it as he tries to turn forward and sit forward. Again, Luca using those legs beautifully just to keep his opponent in position. Last 10 seconds though, Rob. And John Walpole will survive to the joy of his fans, but for me, it's an easy round to score this one. This opener, not what they were wanting. I thought Luca in control and very calm. And you can see Luca back to his corner comfortably. Now, now for me, it was a scramble, wasn't it? And the, the takedown was in neither man's advantage, really. But from there, Luca kept a calm head and capitalised. And immediately when he got the back, it was all him. Yeah, it was very much a, a, an even wrestling match until the point he hit the ground. And then Luca just came alive, literally dominated and controlled, able to make transitions. Good defence by Walpole. Luca, for me, very, very dangerous on the ground, and he showed just how uncomfortable he can make life for Warpole. So it'll be interesting to see the tactical approach coming into this round. For me, if I'm in Luca's corner, I'm telling him, get it back to where you were, get it finished. For Warpole, I'm telling him, take the range, look at the range, keep your distance, try and outstrike him. You've got that long range, you've got good strikes, let's see what we can do upright. That was an intense corner for John Warpole there, Rob. The stakes are high, he's hugely supported here. And when you see your opponent across the way, skipping on, on his toes, light on his feet, looking confident, looks for the overhand right, right counter from John Walpole. Luca leads high with the leg, does the same again. John looking to walk him down. And that's Good work from Walpole, keeping it up right now, trying to use those hands. Oh, Luke almost ducked into John's uppercut, then look for the takedown, good sprawl by good. John. Good work, both underhooks went in under the armpits, it's where he wants them to keep control, keep the body upright. But Luca, comfortable, hooks a leg in. And they go down again, it's very similar to the opening round, Rob, in the way they go to ground. John Walpole, you feel, just looking for just a bit more control here in the second. Yeah, he's trying to work his way up the body of Luca, but Luca very comfortable. A little cheeky shot there on the way in. But again, Walpole just trying to find his, his own ground game here. Good shot as Luca tried to work his way out. Tense moment here in the second, and this is where John Walpole has got to win that round from the first round here, Rob. This is what he's got to do, he's got to control this round from this position. This is his opportunity now. And Luca doing a fantastic job, stifling those strikes. Walpole not even able to get a, a shot off. And that due beautiful to little kick there, Rob, to create the space to get where he is now. Superb timing from Luca there. Yeah, His subtle work, work like that can often go missed, Rob, isn't it? But he knew exactly what he was doing. That's right, kick the knee, push the leg backwards, and look at that reversal. And the way he controls it, steps over, makes the body small, straight back onto Warpole's back. Absolutely unreal. Beautiful, beautiful work. The foot comes free. And again, Warpole finding himself in trouble. And you can see Luca edging John Walpole to his own corner here, Luca, right in front of his own team. Yeah, he's, he had the body triangle, he released it. He's still got a strong position here though, Rob. Very much in control from this position. Walpole literally forced to defend. As Luca tries to work his way round, but... Walpole doing the right thing, just trying to turn his body inwards. That's it, John! Luca onto his back, Walpole top position, but Luca works that triangle beautifully. Oh, right the bell, Rob, and that's, that's a good turnaround from about midway point. John Walpole did everything right initially and capitalised well on that first takedown, but 
the moment you had the switch from Luca, he takes over, doesn't he? He does, he's ve- and he's very calm. If you watch the way that he actually works, he's very calm in his process, very technical, as you said, you know, as you pointed out, the kick to the knee, just to straighten out the legs, change the, s- the space and the distance. Fantastic work, and to have the presence of mind. But it wasn't to be just able the to kick to the knee, pressure. it was the way he reacted so quickly once he got what he wanted. As soon as he, he saw his straight the leg out, he was gone. Yeah, it was, he didn't stop to admire the work, it was like the kick out, and then it was all pressure from him. He's someone that's done it many times in the gym and is comfortable doing it. He knows the reaction that it gets. So it's fantastic to see you actually put it into action and get the opportunity to put it into action in a live scenario. So a tantalizing third and final round. For me, John Walpole needs a dominant round or maybe a submission or stoppage to take this. He really needs to come big in this third and final round. So John Walpole coming forward with the jab. Luca looked to go down, but again he almost got caught with the uppercut. That's the it was dangerous in the second, it's dangerous here at the third. He got away with it again. Now I don't know about you, Rob, but I don't think John Walpole can afford to be against the fence looking for something like this for too long in this round where we have virtually certainly got him two rounds down. Yeah, he's gone to the back of Luca now. He's got to make this pay. Luca spins again. John Walpole has got to capitalise here. He's got to be big in this third round. Yeah, Luca was quite happy to just sit down there. Let Walpole come down with him rather than give up his back. And again, Luca just covers up really nicely. I mean, Walpole's firing shots to the body, but they're not going to stop the fight. Uh, and Rob, let, let's qualify. It's easy for me to say what he must do. He must do this, he must do that. But he's against a very intelligent fighter. It's easy for me outside the cage to go, oh, he needs this, he needs that. But he's against a man who's really used his intelligence and knowledge. Yeah, you can see Luca has a very high fight IQ, uh, as does Walpole, to be fair. You know, that's why we're in this position. And you can see now he's really trying to work. He's hungry for it. He You'll know the urgency, you're right, Rob, and he's doing the best. He really is working for it now. But as I said, it, you, you mentioned he's against a guy with a really good fighter IQ who manages to stifle and defend so well. Here he goes again, look. And to be fair to Lucas, stay so calm, as, as did Walpole under pressure, you know. Shows some great, great talent. And there it is, Luca looking for that triangle. He looks to be tight. And he taps, it's over. What a calm, assured performance from Luca Tremarchi, who was saying about the fighter IQ. Under immense pressure, huge fan base for his opponent right behind his own corner. And he puts in a performance like that. Yeah, it was a wonderful performance. A real jiu-jitsu masterclass. Finished with a beautiful submission. Ladies and gentlemen, what a superb bout, please. Let's hear it for both your warriors in the cage after three hard rounds. But we do have your winner. By way of triangle in 159 of the third round, it's the blue corner, Luca Tremacci.